Um, Odell Beckham Jr., Louisiana State University. I uh, played wide receiver, and I was number three. Um, it's a huge accomplishment, you know, and um, it's just something that T-Mac and I talked about, the special teams coach, just getting opportunities to get back there and, you know, get as many yards for this team as you, as you possibly can, and it, it came on punts and kick returns. It was, um, it was a lot of fun doing that this year. It's it's pretty it's pretty impressive trophy you know pretty big um, looking forward to you know seeing it and um, you know getting the hold it in my hand uh, show my mom and you know just just make her proud um, like you said definitely definitely the one from UAB um, you know the kick return against Alabama um, punt returns it, it, there, there's a few of them that I can think of that were just you know it, it's just so much fun to be able to be back there and you got. You got your whole team blocking for you, and, and you get the ball in your hands, and you get to do what you you know what you put on the field to do, and that's you know make people miss and, and make plays in the field. So it was a fun opportunity to have that you know that job back there. Um, really, just two two world class athletes, and and you know just on and off the field, world class people. Um, Tyron and I are actually really good friends, and I, I've been in Arizona, so I got to see Pat and Tyron for the most part. So. You know, just just being in the same breath as those two guys, they both wore that number seven and, and made it so legendary. It just um, I, actually, I don't even know if it's retired or not, but uh, you know, just just being able to be mentioned with those guys is an accomplishment in itself. It's everything. It's everything about LSU. You know, from from the ops building to you know, you walk into the stadium. Just being able to walk out that stadium is just something that you know a lot a lot of people would die for, and, and having that opportunity was just such a blessing. Um. It's really just, you know, my mom and my dad, you know, genetically, I was made, you know, to do to do this type of stuff. Um, you know, I got a lot of speed from my mom. My mom was a track coach, and um, speed is a lot that I, speed is one of my attributes that I try and use in my game. Just, um, you know, P DBs fear speed, so you use it on whatever you're doing, whether you're running a hitch or slant. Um, I like to use my speed, and then just, you know, athletic ability that, you know, I was blessed with is just, it comes with the game, and just those little things, like, you know, catching a kick off one hand is just something that, you know, I I don't know. It just happens. It, it's not something that you can really teach. Um, so there was there was plays like that that you know everybody comes up to me and it's like you know out of all the plays in my career, it's like that was the one that stuck out to them the most. And it's just <laughs> it's crazy. First time I score, I'm definitely you know getting on both knees and just thanking the man above. That's that's my first touchdown. And then after that, uh, I I don't want to ruin any surprise, but it'll be it'll be a show in the end zone. Um. I have a dog. I have a, a little pit bull um, who I love to death. I uh, play with him. If not, I'll, I'll be with you know Jarvis for the most part, or, or you know guys close to me, Duke Riley, Kavar, and Jeremy Hill. Those kind of guys just at my house playing the game, things like that. Just chill and um, you know compete on the game, but in a, in a fun and you know loving way, and just you know trying to better each other. Um, I played I played everything. Um, soccer was my first sport. Soccer is actually probably my favorite sport. Um, you know, wishing wishing that I would have stuck with it, and then you know, my my coach was actually from Brazil, and he was trying to get me on the the national team, the U.S. national team, when I was young, and it just something that you know, it was so much traveling, I I ended up was like, you know, this is this isn't what I want to do anymore. Um, ended up you know just playing basketball and football and and doing track because it wasn't so much traveling; it was high school oriented. So I did that, and um, you know, it, it looks like it's it's working out for the better. I got I got a little bit of different style, you know. I've I've been around, you know, guys like Jarvis and Tyron who have you know style of themselves, and it's just kind of, kind of something that you have to find on your own. You can't can't really imitate someone else's style. It's just I don't know. I guess I guess it's a New Orleans thing, you know. I'm just you have your own swag. Um, honestly, it's it's going back, and I'm I'm watching film, and I, I haven't even seen you know these plays, and I'm I'm watching Jarvis. You know, after the play's almost over and he's trying to knock a guy out when I have the ball in my hand and he's tackling people, um, I just remember watching it and just dying laughing at him, just seeing, you know, the effort that he gives, you know, for me and, and, and it's vice versa for him as well. So just watching little things like that is special to me. Um, you know, never stop believing, really. It's just, you know, always, always, if you're going to stand behind the Tigers, you know, stand behind them through thick and thin. And I think that's the biggest thing is just, you know, having a having a group of you know fans like that and a community that just supports you in that way is just it's it's really what makes the whole program run. So Odell Beckham Jr. Um, just like to give a special thanks to College Football Performance for um, you know putting this whole thing together and you know making this a special moment for me. Uh, you know, go Tigers.
Dale Beckham Jr. He is the recipient of the 2013 College Football Performance Awards for all the greatest performer of the year. The Dale is the third best player to earn the December following Patrick Peterson and Tyler Matthew. Here to present the Dale the Award is College Football Performance Awards Executive Director Brad Smith. Fans, a big round of applause for your very own. The nation's top all-purpose performer last season, Odell Beckham Jr. Congratulations, Odell. Best of luck in your professional career.